Gary, um, must be absolutely delighted, a really good win away from home. Yeah, delighted. Um, so proud of the players. Um, you know, after the Shep said defeat, you know, we, we was under a bit of pressure, league table-wise. Um, and you look at the fixture, you got Shep shed away, Kelso uh, away, Spalding away on a Tuesday, and Sutton Coldfield at home. And you're thinking, you know, that don't come much tougher than that. Kelso had only lost one game in a year before we went there, and that was the game before we played them, when the other man sent off. So that was a great win, and that was whether we could come here and get something and back it up tonight. And I think we deserved it. I think, you know, they've had two shots all game. The one that went in, which took a slight deflection, and the one that Thomas saved at 1-1, which was a really good save. Um, you know, we've, we've had Ben Heath made a good save first half, we've hit the post, and then second half, that was like, you know, that was either going to be a mistake or a bit of brilliance that won the game. And, you know, we had the, the magic man, who Danny Gordon, who give us that um, bit of magic, you know, but he's, you know, I'm trying to get him to concentrate on his defending first and foremost, you know, I, I felt, that, um, you know, we was conceding too many goals down the side and, you know, I've asked him and Callum to sit in a little bit and only join in when we've got good possession or rather than just gambling on joining in, leaving us wide open. And, you know, that seemed, that seemed to work for us at the minute. So, you know, I thought that was an all-round magical team performance. You know, Saturday that was on the 4G, that was, you know, we absolutely played some great stuff and scored some great goals and tonight, we, we scored some great goals as well. Connors was a great finish. Um, and, you know, we showed the other side, the grit and determination that you need to pick up results in this division. Um, one thing before we go, um, keeper came off, yeah. injured? Yeah, he, ju he just didn't feel well. He just didn't feel well, right, so he's, okay. he's, he's come off and, you know, he didn't feel great before the game. He got in late, which I knew about. He had some work stuff to do, so... That was 50-50 whether I played him or not, but I gambled, played him. I thought he'd done all right first half. He kicked well. He obviously didn't have a lot to do in the goal was deflection, but that's just a, a managerial decision, really, to take him off at half-time. We've got, we've got the best number two in the league um, in Thomas. We've got two great goalkeepers there, and Thomas Thomas made a great save second half. Danny came off. Um, is that a reoccurrence? A bit, of a, bit of a groin problem, and then that was good to see DS get out there and get some minutes. And, yeah in a tough, tough situation, so that was good. Jack Keeble come on, he was unlucky to be left out tonight. And Chris got his start tonight, you know, keep coming on the sub score. And so, you know, we got Drew's left us, unfortunately. Um, the travelling was too much for him, you know, he lives near Luton, so. Drew Richardson. Richardson yeah, yeah. Um, he's left us, unfortunately. I'm disappointed about that because he's a great lad and someone I've got a lot of time for. But, you know, we've, we've got a good squad. It's a smaller squad now, but it's very good, it's very close knit. And, you know, hopefully we can have one or two in the coming weeks. OK, Gary, we'll uh, leave it there because I know you've got to run somewhere. Oh, yeah.